Hi, I'm Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, October the 10th, 2012. And uh, this is a look at the S&P 500. Stocks have now gone into a correction mode, uh, according to uh, IBD. We have had uh, three, uh, I'm sorry, four down days here. And uh, we had a slight pickup in volume today, uh, which counts as a distribution day. And that's two distribution days in a row. Uh, so that is uh, now swinging uh, uh, the vote uh, to uh, markets are now in a correction. We're still above this blue line, however, this 50-day uh, moving average, which is not so bad. And we have not taken out this previous break low at, at uh, 1430, roughly. We got down as low as 1432 today. But uh, um, uh, obvious selling uh, coming into the market, S&P 500, uh, still kind of maintaining above the 50, though. But still, nonetheless, market's in a correction. Now, moving over to the NASDAQ composite, you can really see the damage being done here. Uh, we took out the previous break low at 3080, uh, got as low as 3051.78 today and a noticeable pickup in volume the last couple of days. There are two distribution days in a row, a pickup in volume on a down day, slicing through this 50-day moving average, also taking out this lower trend line, which has been in effect all summer long here. So uh, lots of damage being done on the NASDAQ. You notice that we got to 3196, almost 3200 here, pulled back here to 3080, rallied back, back up, came up short, and have had four nasty sell-off days uh, in a row. So markets in a correction, obviously, on the NASDAQ, down about a half a percent today. And moving over to the Dow Industrial Average, uh, you can see uh, uh, rallied up here, pulled back, came back up, uh, double top here, and uh, three down days, um, uh, one distribution day. Volume came up a little bit less here today. Got a little bit support uh, uh, above the 50-day uh, moving average. So larger cap stocks faring better than the NASDAQ, but the NASDAQ really showing some damage here. Uh, Dow down about 1% uh, today. So markets in a correction, what does that mean? Well, to me, it means that I'm suspending any buying until uh, the market conditions improve. And if I have any stocks that uh, have sliced through their 50-day moving average on heavy volume and have not recovered, uh, I'm considering selling those. Uh, stocks that are showing any kind of a loss, I consider selling those. Uh, stocks that are just acting weak in general, I consider selling all or taking some of the profits off of those. So a good time to uh, go into neutral or defensive mode. Uh, and let's see how far this goes. We never know how far these corrections will go. Sometimes they're just a, a couple of days, scare everybody out, they can, and then rally back up. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, the tape is telling us to heed uh, some caution. Looking at some weekly charts, now here's a weekly chart of the NASDAQ. You can see it slicing through that 10-week moving average, which correlates, of course, to the 50-day moving average, down about 2.7% for the week. Um, uh, not much volume yet, but uh, we've had three trading sessions this week, so uh, that could come up as a, a higher volume a week uh, in a down week. But uh, you can see the damage being done on the NASDAQ. We do have a lot of support coming in uh, down here at the 3,000 level, where we have the 100-day moving average and the 200-day moving average. Um, uh, in I'm sorry, in the weekly version, that would be the 20-week and the 30-week. So uh, um, we have lots of support coming in here, uh, uh, just below here. But uh, nonetheless, uh, a nice move down for the NASDAQ. Here's a weekly chart of the S&P 500 sitting right on its 10-week moving average uh, at about the 1430 mark here. And uh, getting support so far from that, um, uh, you know. So uh, looking at the net, at the S and P 500, just sort of a normal pullback here, um, but uh, nonetheless, markets in a correction, uh, down almost two percent on the week. So let's sit back and see what happens, and um, you know, let the tape uh, tell us what's up. Now I like looking at some of the big cap leaders of the recent rally to kind of get a, a feel for the market. This is Apple, obviously one of the great leaders. Uh, hit a new high here in September, got over $700 a share, and it's been downhill ever since. And uh, what's troubling about Apple is taking out, slicing through this 50-day moving average on some heavy, heavy volume here. And uh, we've had three distribution days in a row. Uh, so that's a lot of heavy institutional selling. So far, getting a little bounce up here, got near this green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average, at about the 620 level. Um, uh, but got support at 623 and uh, made a higher high today. So that's a little encouraging. Volume was pretty lackluster compared to the last couple of days. So Apple acting weak. Um, Apple, a bellwether stock, obviously, um, but had a nice little bounce today up about uh, eight-tenths of a 
Some damage also be done on Alexion Pharmaceuticals, big pharmaceutical leader, down about 5.7% on the week, getting support so far here at the 10-week moving average, but uh, a nice sharp pullback this week for sure. On the daily chart of Alexion, you can see the big uh, drops it had here, uh, taking out the red line, the 21-day moving average. So far, getting support above the 50-day moving average today for about a tenth of a percent. But uh, a couple nasty days of selling on pickup and volume. So that's distribution. Some selling coming into Alexam, which has been, had a great run here uh, all uh, uh, summer long here. and uh, But now going uh, uh, through a little bit of a corrective phase here. Let's see if this 50-day moving average can hold as it has all summer long. Another uh, strong leader is uh, Catamaran Corporation, uh, CTRX. Uh, forming a nice cup with handle here. Um, so far, the uh, pullback here has been supported by the four-week moving average here, down about uh, almost 3% on the week, but looks like a pretty normal pullback here. Here is uh, one of the big leaders uh, here, Solar Winds, uh, down about 6% on the week, slicing through the 10-week moving average, the blue line. Uh, not good, taking out the previous low, uh, 53.78, getting below that today. Uh, looks like it's taking a trip down here to test support here at this green dotted line, which is the 20-week moving average. And here is Pel uh, Mellanox Corporation, uh, below the 10-week moving average, has been sitting down here for the last three weeks. Uh, uh, falling uh, uh, even lower uh, uh, this week, uh, undercutting the re re uh, week's previous low here. Um, so uh, going through some sort of correction here, uh, not too bad yet, although I don't like it below the 10-week moving average. And here is uh, Michael Kors, one of the strong IPOs here, um, <clears throat> going through a correction as well, getting below the 10-week moving average this week, down about 2.3%. Uh, let's see if we can rally back up above that. This is one of the leading retailers uh, doing very well. High-end retailer uh, going after those uh, big money clients that are stealing all our money. Probably a lot of those Wall Street boys. Anyways, <laughs> Michael Kors is doing, uh, trying to hold up here. So uh, all in all, you know, the leaders are going through some sort of a correction. Nothing looks too horrible yet. Actually, Apple's one of the worst looking ones of them all, uh, which, is, which is a little bit troubling. It has been one of the top big cap leaders, uh, just an amazing uh, run that Apple's had. To see it go through this correction really <clears throat> is a little disturbing. Most of the other leaders are holding up pretty well, going through just what I call a normal corrective phase. Um, let's see how this thing turns out. Step to the side if you can. I wouldn't be making any new buys. And uh, uh, get cautious. Uh, trim back some of your weaker stocks. And uh, let's wait this thing out. Thanks for listening.